Good morning. Welcome back to the BPD Bunker. Uh, today we continue our discussion with Russell Davis from uh, Optum uh, Consumer Acquisition Services. Uh, today's discussion is a little bit different than episode one. Episode one, we really unpack the data and talk about all the different segments or cohorts of consumers as many people are experiencing fear of re-engaging in the healthcare system differently. Today we talk about how do we really reconnect with them with the specific purpose of how do we really re-engage them uh, so that they'll come back in uh, and have elective procedures within our facilities? I hope you enjoy. Surgeries. So we asked consumers how likely they were to go to a hospital for an elective procedure that was scheduled today. Um, <clears throat> half of them said they were unlikely to go if it had already been, been scheduled. And you can see over there on the left, one in five just said, no way not going today no matter what. How is this data that we're looking at here going to change the way that, that marketers have to talk about the reasons why somebody should come in for an elective procedure in particular? Yeah, I mean, listen, for more, I'm a communicator, right? So to, this, this, this to me shows there's a lot of opportunity in here. Um, on the one hand, we're facing, you know, in the old days, we'd look at data and we'd be like, half of your customers aren't going to come back. And you just basically, what are you going to do? You reduce expenses. I mean, to, as much as you possibly can. Now, it's more, it's more of a marketing and communications challenge that says, how can we have very nuanced conversations with consumers that really display a high degree of empathy for how they're feeling? This data allows us to do that. And we have to figure out how we can engage in those conversations with the people that they trust. I'm the guy that went around to all the healthcare systems and told them, listen, if you want doctors on billboards, you're, you're hiring the wrong firm. Like that's just us. There's a much better way uh, to communicate uh, and to engage people with your brand and sell them services. And candidly, I was right about that. Having said that, um, to just to show you what disruptive world and how much the world has changed, we are going to have to engage doctors and nurses and other healthcare experts uh, to win back over, to convince these customers that it is safe to return. That now is the time to move forward with whatever, you know, your, your hip replacement. On average, people already were waiting seven years on average. What are they gonna wait, 14 years to get a hip replaced? I mean, it's, it's crazy. I mean, literally it's about not living life anymore. Um, so if you've done the hard work on safety, that's, obviously the foundational to all of this, if your healthcare system has already done that, you have to figure out a way using smart data like this, um, the index that you guys have put together, figure out how do we have a nuanced conversation with, these, with, with each of these different audience segments? How do we put our doctors and nurses forward in a really engaging way, putting them back on billboards and isn't, isn't gonna be the solution, I promise you that. And we have to figure out how to have really authentic, organic, viral uh, discussions so that people are like, Okay, I totally believe I totally believe that because it's the same people that told me to stay home, and they did it in the same authentic way, not an ad-z way. So, so much in the same way that, that we believe that patients trust their providers, their physicians when it comes to recommendations about where to go for care, whether or not to receive care. Now, what I'm hearing you say is, they're also we, we as consumers are going to be looking to our physicians to tell us. It's, a, it's okay to come back. In fact, it's actually a bad thing if you don't come back, we need you coming back now. Well, I don't know about the last little piece, but yes, um, we, we, it's a bad thing for you uh, if you don't come back. And we're gonna give you a lot of different ways to make it really safe. We're gonna have drive-through testing. We're gonna have drive-through treatment. We're gonna have virtual. And if you need a procedure, it's separate entrance. And it's like, a, it's actually a pleaser. It's instead of something that you turn a really scary thing for somebody uh, that doesn't want to go in for an elective surgery, but if they make that leap with you, you blow them away by what you're doing. And that's a great opportunity for these brands. Um, I think that it's a great opportunity as a healthcare system to really improve what we're doing um, and to live up to the trust that's already been built up in the healthcare system over the past nine weeks and candidly over the past you know, decade, several decades.